All right, today we are going to, I, we, I, uh, we're gonna remove this key and carb. Nothing wrong with it. It's a really good carb. I think it's a 34, if I recall. We go for a quick ride, show you guys how it runs. Actually, I don't even know if I have a helmet here. Um, I don't think I have a helmet here, but uh, gonna go ahead and show you guys how long it takes to go from a carb, a D-slide carb like this, to a smart carb. Now there's gonna be some differences. Filter size should be the same as this 34, but as you guys know, we've kind of gone over this and beat this topic with, uh, beat it, beat it like a dead horse, is that? Beating something, I don't know, beating a horse. Anyways, um, there's no vacuum fittings on this at all. Just gonna get a fuel connection here. So it should be very simple, very straightforward. The only adjustments I should have to do is uh, is turn this idle screw and, uh, and then uh, jet it up here. That being said, let's go ahead and get started on this. Right now, I'll show you guys, it is about 10.39. Um, so start to finish, I don't have any tools out, nothing. I'm just gonna show you guys about how long it takes, how easy it is. Let's go ahead and get started, give this guy a run, uh, see how it starts after, see how it runs. Like I said, I don't have my helmet right now. Uh, I don't know, I'll figure something out, I'll rip, I'll, I don't know, I'll figure something out. But uh, anyways, yeah, let's see how long it takes to get this puppy on here. The bike right now runs really good, no issues, it's dialed, tuned. It's, uh, we've had it at, we've had it up to hundred miles an hour. Um, but again, the, the, what's so cool about the 180 is it's a touring bike. So this bike, you could give it quarter throttle and cruise down the freeway at 75, no problem. And it's not even, um, it's not even sweating. You've got electric start, which isn't working right. I may address that, uh, electric start and you've got some seat storage. It's got good headlights, good suspension, good brakes all around. It's just a good all around bike we put this pipe on i put this pipe on i'm not i'm not super sold on it yet however i probably need some trans tuning it's one of those things where i had the bike so dialed with the other pm pipe um i had it so dialed with the other pm pipe it's really hard for me to even want to invest time into this pipe it looks good but the pm pipe just it just works really good and um you know i'm just gonna have to spend some time really dialing this in and playing with it and seeing if it's worth running or not it may want more fuel it may want less fuel it may need some more cbt stuff my guess is it may be a higher rpm pipe but what's funny so this is uh, tmr if you talk with this guy, he'll say, those pipes are junk and these are the best dyno tune. If you talk with other people, they say, these pipes are junk and those pipes are the best. So it all depends on who you talk to, probably how you're, how you're riding, your riding style. If you're looking for bottom end, top end, drag racing, you know, circuit, street, probably really depends on that. Just like it would on, um, you know, a, a pre-bug or Sherco or, you know, one of these bikes. But let's go ahead and pop that carb off there and, uh. And see if we can't get this get this get, get this guy mounted up. Hopefully, I don't have any issues with the size of the boot here. I think it's the same, but uh, we'll find out shortly here. So, after all my yapping, it is uh, ten about ten forty two. What do you think, Brad? I think it's amazing. You didn't even get on it. You were cruising. Thanks. I accidentally turned your fog lights on. I don't want to shut them off. They, they turn off. I do. Yeah. So you got to get into the higher RPM, and then it'll go. That thing is amazing. It's fun, right? Like the motor feels good, doesn't it? Oh yeah. The motor feels like it's stronger than hell. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like when you get into it, it just you're like, oh, there's more, there's more, there's more, and it no, just keeps right? going and going. Oh it, going. it oh, it goes. You weren't even in it, man. Yeah. yeah. yeah Thanks for letting me ride your bike. That thing's like. You could ride that thing across the country. Oh, I know, right? Easy. That thing is just like smooth as. Yeah. yeah, it's. Smooth. It's awesome. Yeah. I love this bike. Cool, huh? I thought you'd like it. it so you you looked real good on it. <laughs> you were so when I was behind you, you were just idling, just cruising. You were doing 67. Really? Yep. I look. Your speedo said 67. I don't know how accurate it is, Whoa. but I imagine it's probably 
pretty accurate. When you're just like just cruising, 66, 67. Really? So I, so my guess is it probably does about 75 as is. Which it, it 65, 50, 60, no problem. That is insane. Yeah. All, all I'm gonna need is a flat blade and a rag and some gloves. I would really suggest using gloves. Uh, for the longest time, I never used gloves. I was trying to be a macho man, but uh, I get sick of coming home and picking up my kids and whatnot, smelling like fuel. So try to get in the habit of wearing gloves. So yeah, uh, all you gotta do is, again, if you're choosing a smart car that feels green, man. Uh, all right, well, show us how long this bike's been sitting. It feels green. Make sure when you're choosing a smart carb, you want to get the size closest to your bike, your, the, the carb that's coming off of your bike. What we do is you special, you, you order a carb, you put in the notes what it's for. We go to smart carb and say, Hey guys, it's this many RPM. It's this many cylinders. It's, you know, um, the CC, this horsepower makes power here. It's CVT, it's whatever. And then, um, they will design a carb and and basically get it set up for that specification. So if you go buy a, gen, a generic smart carb, oh, I'm gonna get a KX85 or a you know KTM 300 smart carb online. Odds are that this connection and that the metering rod is going to be correct is very very slim. Uh, I think our cost is is I think our retails maybe oh that gas is nasty. Uh, I think our our cost versus somebody else's maybe, you know, $10 more, $15 more to get to get one to your specifications, but that's pennies on the dollar when you if you want to waste a bunch of time having a carb that's not going to run right and or you got to spend money getting metering rods. So you may as well just get it from us if you have a scooter and just um, do it once. I have yet to have to change a metering rod on any of my smart carbs because they all end up being perfect because they take a little bit extra time. They take, you know, anywhere from uh, you know, one week to a month to get. I got to get rid of this gas. It is nasty. Uh, they take a little bit of time to get, but uh, you get what you pay for. And if you're patient, you'll get a better product. So once you get the carb off, the old carb off, what you're going to need to do is pop these puppies off here. And this is going to be for your throttle cable. Uh, Sometimes you'll have to you do a, a custom cable or maybe your inner's too long, or your inner's too short. That's really common. Oftentimes with my bikes, I've just gotten really lucky and haven't had to do that. So don't lose any of these things. What's really cool about Smart Carb is their customer service is incredible. They're very fast to get back to you if you have any problems or issues. Uh, they're just a really good company good people, super friendly. It almost feels more like a, it feels like a small, kind of more of a personal company to me than it does some giant corporation where you're just a number. Lectron has, I have nothing bad to say about Lectron at all because I've got them on a few of my bikes. I'm partial to Smart Carb because they're definitely more willing to work with us on projects and, uh, just a little bit more one-on-one uh, -on -one experience, I guess, is kind of how it feels versus Lectron. Again, nothing long, long, nothing wrong with Lectron. It's an excellent product, um, but nothing wrong with it. I am just more partial to Smart Carbs because I don't, you do have, you just turn the knob to adjust it where the Lectrons, wherever they are, somewhere on the twin, you have to pull the, you have to pull it all apart to change the adjustment. So not the end of the world. This is just that much easier. In, um, in my opinion, so. So you're gonna, if you have a PWK or D-slide, it's either gonna have a cap like this or two screws. So go ahead and take this part off and now all you're left with is the one gas line and your throttle cable here. So I'll start by transferring the throttle cable over to here. I'll give it full throttle, see if the slide goes all the way up. If it does, then uh, we can simply just put this thing in place and let it rip. Could we all buy really cheap like ninjas or something and then like no. fix them up? Uh, my buddy has F4I for cheap. That would work. Mason? No. We should just, we should all be <laughs> It's kind of class. Dude, but... have you ever ridden like a leader bike, like a thousand cc? Not like a, no. it's yeah. not, they're not even, they don't even feel right. So you're doing triple digits. Yeah. They don't even, they're not made to go under like 125. 
times. No, it's you don't want one. Because <laughs> I, I like I like going fast on motorcycles. It's just like. I don't know. You get like the. You can borrow my Jixer if you want for a little bit. It's 750. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you that. can. And I've got the screws on the top. I'm going to go ahead and test the. See if I have full travel on that slide. Perfect. Snaps down nice and smooth. So there's a little bit of slack here, which you can get rid of right here. Just gonna twist this adjustment here at the bar, and it'll slowly get rid of that. It helps have an NC wire or a um, S23 style throttle tube to be able to take that slack up. And see now you don't have, you have a little bit of slack here, but not much. Unfortunately, I can't get this to go down anymore because it's hitting this knob. If I took this knob apart and whatnot, um, I could get that down lower, but it, it's not really a big deal, so. Next, you're gonna wanna just slide this dude up here into the boot. Luckily, it's the exact same size as the uh, 34 that we had. And you may have the clearance a little bit more. Luckily for me, it looks like I don't have the clearance anything. So, looks pretty good so far. Um, all right. So started at uh, 10.42, so we're going on uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, about 25 minutes so far. And I'm not in any rush, any way, shape, or form. I've been talking with the guys, working a little bit too. So this is, you know, if you have a bike, obviously the most amount of time you're going to spend is getting the panels on and off. If you have a bike that um, is a little bit difficult to access the carburetor that's the most time consuming part it's getting the panels on and off carbs on go ahead and give it a couple snaps down nice and easy so now we can take this uh filter off here where's the screwdriver the smart carbs i don't over the can i don't anticipate like a giant massive look at this color of this gas it's just it's nasty. Look at that stuff. I don't anticipate like this huge rush of power gain, right? Um, I anticipate uh, smoother, better fuel economy, which would be nice. And just ease of tuning. When we go to Seattle, every time we go to Seattle, I have to drop jets on every single bike, which if you bring, you know, five, six bikes, it's a, it's a pain in the butt. It's not enjoyable. The smart carbs make it uh, way nicer. The second they make one for my pre-bug that's the right size, I'm buying it and all my bikes are gonna be smart carb. Before I put the fuel in here, I'm gonna suck the fuel out of this bike because it's green and gross. Make sure we have some first. We do. So the fuel's green and gross. I'm gonna get the fuel out of there and then uh, we'll go ahead and start this guy up. I don't really need this funnel, but. warm chokes on i don't know obviously the idols probably need some adjustment there's some gas in the line uh so yeah we'll see what happens like i said the, the electric start something wrong with it so i'll deal with that in a bit three kicks guys on a dry carb brand new haven't touched anything uh you're looking at about 45 minutes and that's also getting the old fuel out of the bike and that's what you get right off the bat. So no adjustments at all, as you guys saw. That's what's so cool about smart Card is, and working with us is you tell us what they want, what you want, and then we get it for you and it starts like this, so. So what you guys are gonna wanna do, I know it's a little bit rich right now. You're gonna start your bike up. You can just see it's loaded up there. Right off the bat, I know it's too rich. You're gonna, there's this red dial up here, okay? When you give the bike full throttle, you're gonna push down and turn it counterclockwise. So, full throttle, click down, and then click it to the left counterclockwise. So obviously, I can't reach the throttle and do this at the same time with the camera. So I'm gonna full throttle, reach down. I'm gonna give it five clicks to the left, and it should lean out. 
One, two, three, four, five. Start it up again, see if it's loaded up, uh, and then... You may have to adjust the idle up, but you guys can see how much it's smoking, so you know just right off the bat. So don't think about it like a main jet and a pilot jet, it's just all one. So if it's if it's smoking at idle like that, if it's, that tells you it's really rich at idle, you know you can make an adjustment. It's also gonna affect your top end. You see that's super loaded up. So I've already turned it like five to the left. I'm gonna turn it uh, another, I'm just gonna go like 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. So I'm about 20 turns counterclockwise right now. It sounds more crisp now, a lot better. Uh, now the idle's kind of high because I've leaned it out a little bit. Yeah, it runs strong, man. This thing is just a monster. Wow. And that's enough to get me hot. So now I'll turn the idle down a little bit. Maybe. Put the screwdriver in here. Turn the idle down a little bit, and I may lean it out a little bit more, but. It's so easy, it's so fast, as you guys have seen. I'm an hour into it, but I've also been BSing with the guys, ordered lunch. Um, the reality, if you have tools, it, this shouldn't take you more than a total of one hour to install and tune, or get it very close, get it writable. So normally on a, on a D-slide or a Macuni or whatever, you're gonna spend, I don't know, you know, three, four hours to get it tuned right, uh, and then, you know, an hour to install it. So, I mean, it's cutting it down to a fraction of the time. So it's still rich. We'll shut it off, lean it out. I'm gonna go another five. One, two, three, four, five. And then I may have to turn the idle down. Just kind of do it by feel. Obviously, you're going to read your plug. You're going to read your plug, too. But... Man, this thing is nasty. I forgot about how this thing is a powerhouse. So you hear the idle's higher now because it's leaner. That's about where I'd have it, right there. It just comes on like a freight train, man. I know so low high. There you go, guys. So it's noon now, but like I said, I was done about a half an hour ago, an hour tops to get a good baseline. Um, all you need is your hands to tune it while you're riding. Starts perfect. Every time idles perfect. So you're gonna get uh, ease of tuning and, and just the simplicity of what it is. So now I need to uh, fix the starter and the blinkers don't work, I think. And just do a few tuning tweaks. That's it guys, this, I think it's still a little rich, but I'll come in later and I will do uh, 
throw on some actual riding attire and take it for a rip and video and show you guys how it runs. I haven't really put any time on it with this new pipe either. So it'd be good to kind of do the two back to back. I haven't really ridden this bike this much lately this year because I had the water leak, which was a nightmare to fix. Great placement for the bicycles, as always.